All right, how's it going everyone? This is Wallholder from Sample Simple, and today I'm going to speak to you about the Make Unique Audio Clip feature within the FL Studio playlist. All right, so this video will actually address some questions that have been asked about actually saving your audio clips after you've made some edits to them or modifications within the playlist. All right, so I'm just going to get straight into it. And show you exactly what we're going to be doing. All right, so I have a simple audio clip loaded. Come on and dance now. And let's say I wanted to trim out the last part of this where she says now. So now it's going to sound like this. Come on and dance. Okay. And this audio clip, as it's shown, it actually still retains the now part okay because when I pull up the audio or sort of the channel settings and play it come on and dance now as you can see it's or here it still retains the now part the last part but I don't want that I want it to just say come on and dance all right so so I've used the slip edit uh, feature to trim it out and now what I want to do is because I want to actually save this audio clip as is I want to save it just with the come on and dance so how I'm gonna go about doing that is I'm gonna use the make unique feature and this will simply bring up a save box and now I can type in come on and dance right and I save that so now when I actually pull up the channel settings you'll notice that it's no longer this audio clip just as it's shown in the playlist it no longer points to the original source file where where the vocalist said come on and dance now now it'll just say come on and dance come on and dance right so come on and dance so now I've created a new source file, right? It's a unique audio clip source file. And now if I actually use the slip edit, you'll notice that that audio is no longer there. All right. Now what I can still do though is the original Come on and dance now. file is still there. Okay, and I can still use it or whatever. But again, of course, I've wanted to trim it out and just have its own uh, individual or separate audio clip. All right, so that's pretty much how you use the audio clip within the FL Studio playlist. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So look out for the next video. Take care.